Hi guys, this is Anna from VP State Team and today we will talk about how to manage widgets and sidebars in VP Residence. In WordPress, widgets are actually blocks of content that you can add to footer, header and pages and several other places. They actually provide a simple way to control the design on content without having to code. In VP Residence, you can add widgets to the header top bar area, then you have footer, you can also add in splash page and we covered this earlier. And in any page or post, you have a sidebar with specific widget which you control as well. All the widgets, default WordPress or the team uh, widgets are found in VP Admin Appearance widgets. You should know that you will always get some default WordPress widgets no matter what WordPress team you use and these are listed first. And all the team widgets come after the default ones and they usually have a VP state name in the title so they are easily recognized. On the right you will see the widget areas or sidebars. Primary and secondary widget areas are available by default from WordPress and the rest areas are VP Residence based. So I will first show you how you manage the top bar and the footer area widgets and add your information there. The header information is managed from top bar widget area and top bar left widget area. If you wish to keep the social widget from demo, you simply have to replace the hash symbols with your actual links. And if you do not wish to add a link, just leave it empty and it will not show. And for the contact information, you can simply replace the email address with yours and click save to save the changes and then for the phone number you can replace the phone number with yours and then save the changes as well. This number is written with a specific format so it can be opened in WhatsApp phone numbers. I can simply keep it like this because it's easier to manage and just replace the number with yours. And if you go to the front end now and look at the top bar you will see the information edited as we saved it in admin. There are four widget areas for footer. You can set up to four columns and each column has a widget area. To edit the demo content, you simply edit the widget you see in each widget area and then you add your information instead of demo information. For example, now I will edit the contact details and you can do the same for the social widget which is set uh, below this contact, like right here, and you delete what you do not need, replace with the information you have, and you just leave blank the fields you do not use at all. And just remember to click save when you are done. You use drag and drop to change the widget position as you wish, like here, for example. To add a new widget, you select it from the list of widgets and then you drag and drop it to your widget area. And then you set a title usually and the content. This is a standard text widget from WordPress. And the next thing I want to show is that if you want to add four columns in footer, for example, you can enable that from the team design. You go to team options, general settings, footer, and here you will see a list of possible footer organization of the widget area. I will select four columns, save my changes. Now we will go back to widgets and organize the four widget areas in the footer. So I want to change the order of listings first of all. So I will just drag and drop the widgets. I will put lastly the latest properties. I will move the about us in the first column and here is the result and now for example i will want to delete the social widget because for me it's too crowded i simply go to the widget area click delete it will remove automatically next i want to edit the latest properties for example i simply go you can change from here several settings i will just show you how you can change the number for example just type two instead of three and then you can also change the name and you can add this in your language as well. Save the changes 
And for example, for the categories list, I will also change the name. You can do it as well and set it in your language. And you can also choose from different categories from here and have different options. And this is the fi final footer I want to show. And to change the text copyright you see in footer, you simply have to go to team options, general footer settings. And in the same area where you choose the widget area layout, you have a special section to add your text. Just edit here and save the changes and they will reflect in the footer. You have to consider that you can also disable the widget areas. Here you can disable it for the footer, you simply set to no. And you can do the same for the top bar area. You can set it to no here. And if you enable it, you can set it to know just for mobile devices, for example. VP Residence also allows you to set a different top bar widget for the user dashboard pages. These are the user dashboard. So you can simply manage them from team admin. You also have a separate section for splash page if you use splash page. Next, I want to show you the possible page sidebars and how you manage their display. So primary and secondary are default widget areas. They are usually visible on pages, posts, properties, agents, and categories that have sidebar enabled. The team is very flexible. If you wish to add more sidebars, you can do that. You go to Appearance, Sidebars, Add New, type the name of the new sidebar. And then if you go in Widgets, you will see your new sidebar listed after the team default ones. For the demo widgets, you can use edit to edit their text label title. You can simply type your title instead of the one from demo and save. You can also reorder their position or you can delete the ones you do not want to use at all. You can also add new widgets to your sidebars, select the widget from the list and add it to the desired sidebar. Some widgets can be edited like test labels, some not. It depends on the widget, but this is very easy to manage. We will start with the property sidebar. Properties can have their sidebar type and position set by each listing or globally for all listings. For individual properties, you manage sidebar from edit property, sidebar settings. You control the position and what sidebar name from the dropdown list. It will auto-populate with all the sidebars I showed you before. If you keep global settings, which is the default setting, you manage the sidebar for all properties from team options, design, property page, design. You will have sidebar position, the option to enable sticky sidebar, yes or no, the option to select what sidebar to select, and if you wish to show the agent card information on the sidebar, yes or no. For example, if I will move the sidebar on the left, the property page sidebar will look like this. The sidebar will be on the left and agent card will always be first. If I choose no sidebar, then when I refresh the property, there will be no sidebar at all and the page will look like this. But remember to put the agent on sidebar to now, so the agent information will show in the property page, which will happen like this. You manage separately the sidebar position and the sidebar itself for all the categories in the site from team options, appearance, property taxonomy and block category sidebar. These options apply to property categories, but you must use the layout that supports sidebars, which is called standard. It also applies to all block categories, agent categories, agency categories and developer categories if you use that. Next, I will show you how sidebar works if you set it right or left. If you put it left and refresh the category page, you'll see the sidebar on the left. And if you select no sidebar and refresh the category page, you'll see it has no sidebar. You'll see the same if you check a category page, for example. This is a block page category and it will be the same effect. For pages, posts and agents, you have sidebar settings for each individual item. For example, this is a page created to list properties. You edit the page, then you go to sidebar settings, which are usually at the end of all the settings, and 
you check the sidebar position and the sidebar itself for that page. You can choose between sidebar position right, left or none. And then as sidebar, you can choose from any of the sidebar you have published and available. This concludes our video for today. We hope you enjoyed watching it. Remember to subscribe to our channel to be informed as soon as we publish new videos too. Thank you for watching.